In this video, we're going to learn how to make violin plots in R using both ggplot2 and plotly. So we'll start just by loading in some packages, the tidyverse for ggplot, plotly, this for displaying the plotly plot. We're going to be using the diamonds dataset and some custom colors here. To create a violin plot in ggplot2, we're going to use the ggplot function. In this case, we're going to plot the caret or the size of diamonds. We're going to put that on the y axis. The x is actually going to be blank here, so we're just going to pass in an empty string for the x aesthetic. And then we simply add the geom violin, and it will create the violin plot. I find it's also nice to overlay a box plot on top of the violin plot so that you can get a sense of where the median and inner quartile ranges. So we're actually going to also add geom box plot. We're going to make it pretty thin so that it fits within the violin plot. And we'll just run this. So we can see we created a violin plot here, which is this density curve that's mirrored on both sides. And then inside it, we have this small box plot so that we can tell where the median and interquartile range is. Now you can also make side-by-side -side violin plots just like you can with bo box plots. So we'll show how to do that. This is essentially the same call as above. We're just adding something on the x-axis now. We're going to set x equal to color. We're also going to fill based on color. So this will split out diamond size by diamond color. So let's look at the result. As you can see, for diamonds that have better color, they also tend to have more density around lower weights. So you can see the median diamond for the D color is close to 0.5, whereas these diamonds that don't have as good color also tend to be larger. Now we can also make a violin plot using Plotly, so I'll just show how to do the basic one below. We're going to pipe data to plot underscore ly. Again, the X is going to be blank. And for Y, we're going to do caret. The type of plot is going to be violin. And this last argument is just setting it up so that the box plot appears on top of the violin like we did above. So when we plot this, we'll see essentially the same basic first plot that we had above, except since it was rendered using Plotly, it does have some interactivity to it. So we can hover over and see exactly what the median is, what the first and third quartiles were, and drag our cursor along to see what the general density level is at different spots along the plot. So that is how you make violin plots in R using both ggplot2 and Plotly. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like. And if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.